Kenny Anthony has been out of power for the last two and a half years, and now he wants back in. The opposition leader and his Labour Party were adding fuel to the fire Thursday night, supporting the industrial action by government workers, who are demanding that the administration pay a 7.5% increase due this month. Dr. Anthony says the public must move with the SLP quickly to get the present administration out of office before there's nothing left to govern. We have to think hard about hastening the demise of this government, saying to this government that it has broken its trust with the people of St. Lucia. It has destroyed their lives. And the time has come. The time has come to go. As for me, as for me, after two and a half years in purgatory, I am ready again to lead this country and take it where it should go. The representative for VA4 North, Moses Musa Jabatis, had strong words for the ruling party, saying the UWP had no regard for workers. He says the present administration has declared war on workers. If you have a relative who's a worker, you need to go home tonight and explain to them that the United Workers Party will never be a friend of the worker. That the United Workers Party hates the worker. That the United Workers Party will do everything to trample the rights of workers. And all you have to do is go in the history books. Jabati claims the UWP would never enact the labor code because of its view of workers. He criticizes government's handling of the current impasse, while indicating that the previous SLP administration had its own problems with the workers' unions. But what happened? Dr. Kenny Anthony would sit down with the workers, explain the situation, and come to a compromise. You heard him tell you now, it is political. It is political. It's because they have no term respect for workers in this country. That is why they are saying it's political. And if when you don't respect people, and people take their stand, it's political, well, so be it. Echoing the demands of workers, Dr. Anthony said the King administration must show its inability to pay the increase by cutting excessive spending, starting with its representation at the United Nations. Presently, St. Lucia has two representatives at the UN, Ambassador Dr. Donata St. Amy and former House Speaker Sarah Flood Bobra. When you add the salary of Sarah Flood and Donata St. Amy, the two of them is costing the government of St. Lucia every year $876,000. $734.04. The former Prime Minister also warned the administration not to implement any new taxes as a way out of the present crisis. According to Dr. Anthony, if the government were to implement new taxes on the workers, it would have to answer to the Labour Party. Clinton Reynolds, HDS News, Channel 4.